Adjusting Buttons and Tripart Events This tutorial summarizes a few essential and interesting techniques Sergey taught all Def Club members. You can join the Def Club using the link in the video description. Here I have a small project in version 11 of PHP Runner. It has two tables, products and categories. I added a custom button called Add Category to the listing page of the products table. I will now open the custom button event code by selecting the button and clicking on the edit button code. I already added the dialog API to the client before event and defined two fields labeled category name and category description. Please note that I also gave both fields a unique name. This step is not mandatory, but if you do not supply names, you must call an additional JavaScript function before OK. The manual shows that field names are set to a unique value in most code examples. Here is an example of the before OK JavaScript function for when you call the dialog API from other JavaScript events. But as mentioned before, if you do not use name when defining fields, the before OK JavaScript function becomes mandatory. I will leave a link in the description to the dialog API documentation that clearly explains it all. Any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. The server events currently accept parameters from the client before event via the palms array. These values in the array are saved into the database table using the database API. The client after event accepts parameters from the server event via the result array and outputs the value to a pop-up using the standard JavaScript alert function. There is still a lot of uncertainty regarding tripart events I briefly explained already amongst many PHP Runner users. I will now try to visualize the process by showing all three events next to each other. First, the client before event, then the server event, and finally there is the client after event. Look at the two fields I created for the dialog API within the client before event. I gave both fields a distinct name, cat and cat description. When the user clicks the create button on the dialog form, both values of category name and category description are stored in the palms array where cat and cat description will be the array named keys. At the same time, the populated array is sent to the server event via the dollar palms array. Here you can see how cat and cat description is used in both events. At this server event, notice how I extract the values from the array so I can use them however I want. I now populate another array called dollar result with a named key as response. The array dollar result is now populated with one value which will be sent to the client after event. Again, I will show how I use the array key response to extract the value in the client after event. Finally, the JavaScript function alert will put the value in a pop-up. Hopefully this way of showing the three events next to each other helped explain the tripod more clearly and better understand how arrays get passed from event to event. Remember, the client before and client after events are both JavaScript while the server event is PHP. It is also very important to understand arrays. If you do not understand arrays, I can make a tutorial explaining how arrays work or just Google PHP arrays and 
I'm sure you'll find something that can be useful because understanding arrays makes this process much easier. Another essential thing to remember that is that you cannot output or redirect from the server event. The tripart events work together and act as a single event and if you perform an echo or redirect the flow will be broken and you will receive a server error. With that being said, an echo of a variable of any value may create an error but can be used as a debug option to see what the value is. Let me demonstrate. Here I will echo the last ID. As you can see we are having a server error. I now click on the details. In this case I see that the last ID is 6. Finally I want to improve the category creation process. The code must test to see if a category already exists. If it does, instead of adding the same category again, it must update the description of the existing category to whatever the user typed in the description. First, I tested to see if the category name was already in the database. Note how I extract the value from the dollars palm array for the where clause. If dollar cut ID is empty, I will allow the insert, otherwise I will update the record instead. The response will have to change too, but first let's add the code to update the database. I want to try something for the response in the else condition of the if statement. I'm actually not sure if this will work. There is only one way to find out. I'm trying to get the ID of the updated record using db last ID from the database API. Okay, let's see how this goes. I will do a test on the value test2. This time I'll add description. Okay, obviously DB last ID returns zero. But the category worked well. I'm having a quick look in the manual to see where DB last ID can be used. It only work with insert and not update. Well, now I also know. Another option is to use $CatID instead, as it will contain the category ID in the else case.